Hey everybody, this is the second arpeggio video, uh, the advanced one I guess you could say. I'm just going to show you how to go up and down, and I'm show you uh, a different type of arpeggio. Uh, I'm going to do the same arpeggio as I did last time. Alright, what we're going to do this time is we're going to go up and down with it. So, the way I do this is I do the same technique as I showed before. But when I get to that one, I don't do the, the last stroke to get that last note. All I do is I go, I'll hit that note right there, and I'll hammer on that one. And then on the way back down, I'll pick this note, and I'll come down, and I'll pick that note, and then I'll pick this one and go back up. Sometimes I'll skip the top and bottom string. Sometimes I'll completely skip the downstroke of all the notes, and I'll just catch them all like this. So I'll basically just be going. No right, no right hand at all. Uh, I do that a lot for smaller pitches, like like that. Um, the other type of arpeggio. Wait, I don't want to get to that yet. Uh, the sliding arpeggios no big deal, you just gotta learn how to hold on with your pinky for dear life. So let's say I'm gonna slide this up just uh, one fret. Sounds kinda eerie. We can also um, invert it, like go to the next inversion so we go. And faster that goes. That's a lot of difficulty on the pinky because you have to maintain pressure the whole way going and sliding up. Um, I do it a lot with uh, the diminished arpeggio since it works so easily. I usually go. And backwards. It just works pretty easy. So you can go. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, the last arpeggio the, is the string skipping arpeggio. Uh, it's a Paul Gilbert thing. Uh, he started doing it, he said, because he didn't want to learn how to do sweep picking. So if you don't want to do sweep picking, then uh, this is for you. It's a little more difficult. It requires uh, string jumping and a lot of control. Um, this is one of them that's just... Uh, so he's going... Uh, this is 10 on the A string to a 13, and then we're going to skip a string and go up to the G string, and we're going to be uh, 10, 12, 15, and then up to the top E string, it's going to be 10, 13, 15. And we can also tap out the top ones like he does. And, well, that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I can make another video if need be.